feeling or the one that did I mean, you know, it's going to be strange. You know, it's going to be strange, and it's probably not going to hit to the first day of camp really starts. But, um, you know, we've prepared, you know, ourselves for, for, for this moment. You know, everything that's led up to this point um, that we've done together, that we've accomplished together, you know, it's prepared us to be successful, you know, with or without each other. You know, he's strengthened my weaknesses, and I'm strengthening his weaknesses. So we're prepared as leaders to lead our different teams uh, in, in, into a, a new era and to be successful. You D, have you spoken to Chris at all? Obviously, he showed that he's been working out in L.A. You had mentioned possibly working out with him. Did that just not come together this summer like it did last summer? Well, yeah, we spoke. Um, but, you know, Chris' timetable is just a little bit different than everybody else. So, you know, we have to be mindful and we have to be conscious of the things that's, um, that are important. And the, most, the thing that's most important is that when Chris needs to be ready, that he's ready. So, you know, my timetable and everybody else's timetable just move a little bit faster. So are you fully expecting Chris to be in camp? Is, that's what, is that what he's told you? Do you expect him to be? I'm with expecting him to be in camp uh, as far as timetable when he's on the floor. You know, I'm not sure about that. I haven't really gotten into the medical part of it, but definitely expecting him to be in camp and to be participating. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be full contact or, you know, just by itself or if he needs me to work extra with him or whatever the situation may be, but I'm expecting him to be there.